Hi, 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 hello, hello. This is your girl Josie. I hope everybody's doing very well. In today's video, we're going to set up my first paycheck in October. Yes, the first paycheck came in, and you know your girl has to set this by weekly paycheck. So stay tuned and keep watching. Hi, 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 hello, hello. This is your girl Josie. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are an OG, you guys know how I love you guys so much. So, for today's video, I'm going to show you how I set up my bi weekly paycheck. And since I think about August, I started doing it like literally, <laughs> like on point. Every paycheck, I have to set it up. Because I want to know where my money is going, what is going into my buffer account, what is going into my savings, like all those places. And that's what we call budget because you want to know where your money is going. Is it wandering around or it's just somewhere sitting? <laughs> so for those of you who want to know, get some motivation to set your budget. This is how I do mine. Very easy, simple. I don't complicate stuff. So let's go ahead today. I did it in a different way so that I wouldn't waste a lot of time. I hope everybody's doing very well. I'm super excited. So this is my first paycheck. Let me fold it so that you guys can see it very well. I have used a lot of budgeting book before, fancy one, simple ones, but every month I make sure I set up my monthly pay my monthly page and throughout the monthly page i get my bi-weekly paycheck out so i don't complicate stuff if you haven't seen that video i'll leave it up there so that you can check my how i set up my monthly overview very simple 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 we are all doing simple stuff here we don't want <laughs> any complications right so let me just walk you through what i did today because like I said, I didn't want to waste a lot of time. And let me get, I have, to, I'm using three pens today. I'm loving this pen. I think I'll get more of these pens. Very cute. It's a reasonable pen, but very, very nice. I'm, I'm loving this pen. I think my son gave it to me. And these ones I bought it from Amazon. They are a reasonable gel pen as well. They are not bad at all. Not at all. And I love them. Okay. So now this paycheck is going from, it was paycheck from the 3rd to the 17th. Because my next pay for this month is going to be on the 18th. And I also get one more pay, I think, on the 1st of November. So because of this, this paycheck... I'm budgeting like low because I have to put some of the money into my student loan, which I'm bringing the update very soon. I've seen people asking, have you been paying your student loan? Yes, I've been paying. I have to bring the update very soon. So stay tuned for that. So for this paycheck that I got paid on the third, I am budgeting with 2500 this 2500 a lot of people have been asking me i've already taken my my tide out and we are two income in the house but we are only budgeting on my income mostly because we are getting too old so we need to um do more in our retirement we need to do a lot in our business that is coming up soon. So a lot of stuff that we want to do so that 10 years from now, latest, hopefully, my husband and I will not be working like a lot because we have young ones. And if you think about it, you, I might be working for a long time because I have a lot of kids, but I don't want to do that. So we, we've been doing a lot of stuff with our money back. For this paycheck, a family of 10, 
we are budgeting 200 and 2500 so for my fixed expenses the bills that are going out for this particular one i'm at, at two weeks ahead when it comes to my bills so um um these bills is getting to the latter part of the month i do latter part of the month the first of the month is already been paid which i budget last paycheck of september okay so my debt i didn't budget let me say this i didn't budget for my mortgage because my i have another paycheck coming up and another one so those one will take care of my mortgage for november i'm a, a fully a month ahead when it comes to my mortgage any other any other bills i'm like two weeks ahead so this one is not having my mortgage that's why you realize that i'm budgeting with a little amount because my mortgage is not here my mortgage take a huge amount when it comes to my fixed expenses or my bills in general because we have about 2400 on our mortgage which is kind of very very huge some people in the budgeting community does not show their mortgage because i don't know whether it will scare people away or i don't know why but i do cast off my mortgage so i always talk about my mortgage it's 2400 we live in a kind of a big house a little bit a kind of expensive place a little bit so it's quite a lot of money okay so for my debt for this paycheck is getting two hundred dollars my internet is getting 20 my subscription is getting 20 investment coming up i do buy some single stocks every paycheck and that one is fifty dollars i do send money to my ally bank which is my one of my high use savings account and now i'm doing the some investment through ally bank as well it's mostly mutual funds and every paycheck i do send fifty dollars i'm taking care of my sister back home she gets fifty dollars my car insurance go out and that one is 315. so when i do the math let's do the math quick to see how much is left to see how much is left for everything here so like i like i'm telling you i don't complicate my budget nowadays as you can see i'm using an exercise book not fancy at all <laughs> okay so we have should i use my blue pen i want to make it colorful so we have 705 okay so we are budgeting with 2500 minus 705 so the amount left Seventeen hundred ninety-five. Yes, yes. So that's how much is left. Now I'll go ahead and do my variable expenses. This variable expenses is for two weeks until I get paid again and for this one like i tell you we're a big family a family of 10 now so it's quite expensive we do spend a lot every two weeks when it comes to our food we are trying to eat eat healthy as possible so that we don't get sick i don't remember the last time i went to the hospital my kids went to the hospital because we tried we tried our best to eat healthy uh, my mom is around to cook home meals we eat out once a while not a lot at all so and we tend to spend money on food a lot my kids like they don't like some of them like vegetables some of them like fruits <laughs> i don't know where each of them belongs but sometimes you see them eating 
fruits sometimes you see them eating vegetables so this one is uh i don't know what i did the math right let me do it again 790 let's see so 40 plus 300 plus 50 plus 200 plus 40 plus 100 plus 60 so that was about right so that one is 790 and as you can see i have my personal like i said blessings my grocery is 300 dollars for two weeks we also go to sumps 500 dollars we buy stuff in bulk flashes are total 20 gas is 50 day night and eating out it's about ten dollars because mostly um, for day night we we kind of slow down a little bit getting to the end of the year even when we go out at times we don't spend at all we have other stuff that we do and also eating out at times my husband uses packet money to order some stuff so at times we don't spend my eating out money i keep it <laughs> and running over or when we need to buy something at the convenience store for the kids we i might use that local store is when we get our local food which is hundred dollars hey i'm keeping twenty dollars in my pocket which this time around i'm rolling it over my nails get 20 miscellaneous get 20. So we have 790 for variable expenses. So let's see how much is left. So we have left over here 1795 minus 790. So that will be 1795 minus 790 and 11,000.05. Then when you come here, my savings is getting two fifty, so thousand oh five minus two fifty. Let's see how much is left for the two fifty. It go towards my savings challenges, and if you've been following me, I'm doing a lot of <laughs> savings challenge. So those ones goes into it every paycheck. I put away two fifty. I also at times use my leftover if I have a lot of money left over to go towards my savings as well. So now what is left is thousand five minus two fifty. So we have seven hundred and fifty five. So seven fifty five now comes to my second fund. So my budget simple what it is is divided into four fixed expensive variable expenses savings sinking funds <laughs> so that's how much i've divided my budget so if you want to set up your budget do what is good for your family this make it simple for me it doesn't mean that it's for everybody like when it comes to my sinking fund i always tell people I have a lot of sinking fun and that makes me feel very, very excited because I don't put money on credit card. I make sure I save for sinking funds for stuff that is coming up. That's why I have a lot of sinking fun. It doesn't mean you should also have a lot of sinking fun. It depends on you. So under my sinking fund, I have birthday gets $20 back to school 20 Vaz day, my husband and I, we love Vaz day, so we go out, $5, family fund, 20 blessing, 20 self-care, 20 Christmas, 20 HMO and trash, 20 Iris Lansens gets 20 car maintenance also get 20 pretty much everything gets $20 every paycheck, Car registration get 20. We pay every year, which is coming up. House maintenance get 20. Leaf collecting get 15. Miscellaneous get 20. Family go get 20. Pedicure, which I save for it gradually in case there's a big activities coming and I have to go and do my nails with my family. I do pay for them. And that one I put down $5. Family save each person get. 
two dollars and we are 10 of that so we get 20 every paycheck so now let's do the math for that one to see how much is going into sinking fat and our buffer and everything all right to make it easy i'll count the number of 20s one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so i have 20 times 14 that's 280 then i have five dollars so plus five i have 15 and i have another five dollars here so 305 going to sink and find okay so for my left over it will be 755 minus 305 so that will be so let me go ahead and raise this. That's why I like this pen. Very easy. Very, very easy. So I'll put my buffer here. Okay, so seven five five minus Three four five, so eleven four fifty. So my buffer get four fifty. Okay, so now for my zero base budget, which I think I'll use the blue color. So zero based. Hmm. So I have my income, which is two thousand five hundred. Minus my variable expenses minus my my fixed expenses minus my variable minus my savings then minus sink and fund then minus buffer. sum up to be it has to be zero every budget has a name everything has a name that's how we do it and we do get zero so a big zero So that's how I set up my budget. Like I said, I don't complicate stuff. <laughs> very, very simple. Very simple. And you don't need fancy book to do that. All that you need is a sheet of people. Whether a size book, whatever you need to make sure your budget is laid out to bring you the peace of mind. I don't know. If you are looking at this, if it's not giving you a peace of mind, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let me know in the comment. I would love to hear from you. This gave me a peace of mind that I know I have given every dollar a name. Simple and easy. So thanks for watching me today. So grateful to have you here. I will see you in my next video. I'm trying everything to post video as I can. But your girl is tired and i've been working a lot because my boss is not around but it's okay it's okay very soon it's gonna be over 
I'm just looking at it that it's coming. It's coming. I'm not going to be busy that much pretty soon. So, so thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Go and be grateful. Bye-bye.